Welcome to Curious Guava. Today, we delve into a remarkable World War II endeavor, building an aircraft carrier out of ice. During World War II, the Allies faced a major challenge in the Atlantic Ocean. German U-boats were sinking British ships at an alarming rate, cutting off vital supplies and threatening to turn the tide of the war. In response, the Allies devised an ambitious plan to build a fleet of aircraft carriers out of a material that was abundant and cheap, ice. The project was known as Project Habakkuk, named after a biblical verse that talks about a new way of doing things. It was the brainchild of a British inventor named Geoffrey Pike, who had a reputation for coming up with unconventional ideas. In 1942, Pike was able to persuade Lord Mountbatten, chief of combined operations, about the potential of his proposal. By the time of the 1943 Quebec Conference, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill approved this project. Because of the cold Canadian winters and Canadians' prior familiarity with ice physics, this project was assigned to the National Research Council of Canada. Lake Patricia in Alberta's Jasper National Park was selected as the testing site primarily due to the presence of an unexpected source of free labor nearby, a conscientious objector camp. These camps serve as alternative service options for individuals who oppose military service due to personal beliefs or principles. But the 200 workers were never told what they were building. In early 1943, a prototype of the aircraft carrier was built with ice from the lake. The prototype was massive, measuring 60 feet long, 30 feet wide, and weighing 1,000 tons. It was powered by two diesel engines and could reach speeds of up to six knots. A roof was put on top of the structure to protect it from the elements and disguise it as a boathouse. While the prototype worked, there were some challenges. For example, some of the piping arrived damaged, preventing water from being used in the cooling system, so air was pumped through instead. There were doubts about the strength of the ice and the viability of the structure itself. Around this time, Pike learned that a mixture of water and 4% wood pulp could transform ice into a solid mass with strength comparable to concrete. This mixture, Pikerite, is named after Pike and developed by his government group. Although pikerite was a better building material than pure ice, it wasn't used in the prototype. By the end of 1943, the project Habakkuk was abandoned due to a number of factors. First, Iceland could be used as a permanent base in the North Atlantic, which negated the need for floating islands. Second, the introduction of long-range fuel tanks enabled planes to perform longer patrols. Finally, the improved accuracy of centimetric radar enabled better tracking of U-boats. Once the project was abandoned, the refrigeration machinery was removed. And the prototype was just left on the lake. It took three hot summers to completely melt it. The sunken metal parts of the boat remain there to this day. Despite its failure, Project Habakkuk was a testament to human ingenuity and creativity. It demonstrated that even in the midst of war, we can find new ways of solving old problems. And who knows? Maybe one day, someone will build an aircraft carrier out of ice. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, stay curious.